Right, let's take a look at the enhancements we've made in BridgeCAD V25.2. The first of our new improvements have been added to the mText window. When you're in the text dialog box, you'll notice you can copy properties from one text string to another using the Format Painter. The improvements to the mText format box don't stop there. In BricsCAD V25.2, we've also added the ability within the text format box to add subscripts and superscripts at a touch of a button within the dialog box. We've added additional functionality when working with polylines. We've now got the option of adding a control key central middle grip on the polyline, which enables you to add a vertex to stretch or create a bulge on the polyline. And by having this, it offers familiarity to anyone migrating from another DWG based CAD platform. We've added another enhancement when working in the 2D environment. When working with multiple selections using the selection cycling dialog box, We've now got the option to multiple select. So when you pick an overlapping geometry item, in the dialog box, it will show you the overlapping entities and you can hold down control or the shift key to make multiple selections. When you move away, the dialog box disappears, but it retains the selection in the graphics window, making it very easy to pick any overlapping geometry and retain the selection to either reassign the layer or delete the geometry. For added clarity in the workspace, you've now got the option of isolating entities on orbit rotation. In the 3D environment, if you run the RT isolation selection command, it enables you to pick more than one item by shift selecting these solid bodies. When you orbit rotate, it isolates only the selected items. And this works in both the 2D and 3D environment, making it much easier to see what's going on with inside the model space. In V25.2, We've improved the slice command, making it much easier to visualize by showing a cutting line when slicing through solid geometry, giving you much more control and accuracy. As well as enhancing the slice command, we've made massive inroads on the performance of the live section. You'll notice now when you create a live section on the preview, the performance is up to 10 times quicker to regenerate. You'll see here when I actually select the item and drag, it's instant the feedback that you get on screen. A new feature that we've added in V25.2 are enhancements to the Sheet Set Manager for parity to other CAD platforms. In the Sheet Set Manager now, you can open up model views direct from the dialog box. And you'll notice here I'm actually creating an additional view of this model. And once I've saved the file, if I go back to the Sheet Set Manager and refresh the views, underneath the DWG file, I can double click to access the view that I've created. We understand that publishing PDFs is an integral part of everyone's workflow. So that's why we've made enhancements to how you can publish out single sheet files by using either the sheet name, the layout name, or the drawing name to vary the description You'll notice it automatically renames and you can save the sheet set. And at the bottom right hand corner, you've noticed we've now got a published monitor that enables you to see the progress of the job and also cancel the job if you want to cancel it part way through a large format print. It also gives you a progress report and lets you know when the files have been finished publishing in the background. To make the results more predictable when you're publishing PDF documents, we've made some enhancements in the plot dialog box when you select to publish to PDF, under the system options, you can now go into the properties and choose to view, view the PDF once it's been published. You'll notice once you save to your desktop or any other file location, it will then publish the document straight after. We hope you agree that our development team have done a great job adding new and enhanced functionality to our BricsCAD products in V25.2.